I'm going to show you the wrong way to start making your big, great, lovable idea by using a little passion project of mine. I thought maybe if we do a 15 minute chunk now where I spin through how I'm building out things the correct way using an example project that I don't have any uh, non-disclosure agreements in place with or that aren't going to ruin my chances on selling a product to someone else, then I can do that and I'll also show people what we're up to. So number one, it's a weight loss thing. You can only, you can check, if you look at Lovable's featured projects, every one of them pretty much is a mental wellness, fitness tracker of some kind. And I think it speaks to the human condition. I've lost a bunch of weight, still on that journey, getting closer than I've ever been before. And in this final stage of moving from like fat loss to being able to eat again and have calories, Along that journey, I've, I've messed up loads all the time. I still want to get to that goal I set myself, which is 85 kilograms, which is where I'd love to be um, before the summer 2025. This app will be a GPS. It will offer you routes to get where you need to go in terms of purely in weight loss. And along the way, you can plug in decisions and try out what things might look like if you do go to that beer festival, if you do have that night off with your mate and smash 12 pints of Guinness. <laughs> I never do that. Plan and understand the impact that's going to have. Perhaps if you know you've got these days that are coming up, a festival, you can log it in and say, look, I know four weeks this is coming up. I just need a reminder. I do it in a spreadsheet where I keep track of all my weight and stuff. Again, I've tracked my weights pretty much consistently since 2018 onwards, which speaks a lot again to my condition because I only really started to lose weight at the end of January 2023. But I've got all that data. So what can we do with that data? What can I, tr some, something out there must be able to help me log days that Accept there are days that are going to be bad. See what it would look like if I were to plug in a few naughty days on this journey and then observe day to day as I track my weight, what that does. Now, I tried it once, came out terribly. I'll show you that. And then we'll walk into the process I've taken this time around, which actually was suggested by ChatGPT and I think is much smarter. So let me show you what didn't work first. So this version of the app, I wanted to be exactly like Lose, which is a iOS app. I'll put, stick some screenshots up. You can see it effectively treats your weight like a financial forecast. So there are trend lines to follow. You can understand if you are on track or off track. It does a really good job. It's lovely and dynamic. It plays really lovely on iOS. Feels great, very tactile. If a little bit hacky around the edges, put together by a really nice guy who's clearly been through the weight loss process himself and is happy to share the way he did it. So with that in mind, I went in and just made this big, fat, crazy prompt. You know, I start, one of the opening lines was that we, you know, we've got to have terracotta, we've got to have terracotta <laughs> accents in there. We can't have it without that. So I went straight to visuals, all the classic mistakes, didn't build out a viable prototype up front. Made some mega prompts, spat them all into Lovable. Uh, we can see this Lovable project. I did, I quit the 17 messages, so that's pretty good for me to know up front that I was heading in the wrong direction. And as you can see, if I make it functional and I'll make this public, uh, the app just didn't work. So visibly, it looks quite nice. It has this trend line, so it knows if you're, you're ahead or below predicted weight, but it's not doing what I need. To, I need to see the date. I wanna add these, I wanna add some more logs in there. It's got these bits and pieces, like progress was good. I try, When I tried to do anything in the, the settings were working at some point. I straight away started adding um, historic weight data, didn't understand what I was doing. So none of these dates are actually came out the CSV file that I have kept all these years of my, my own weight. It's all just complete nonsense. Nothing worked. And the more I started with that and then started trying to hammer it into a new shape, the more I realized I was exactly that. I was trying to bang a hexagonal peg into a triangle hole. And, and I should have just started with a cylinder would have made that a lot, lot easier to then add the triangle points on top. That isn't an analogy that makes any sense. Start with the cylinder. Bog standard, normal approach that any software engineer would tell you to do. You start with a minimal viable product, build it out from there. So yes, good. I'm, ha I'm happy to share this. Let's get it out there and we'll look now at the new approach we're taking. As I run up to about 10, 15 minutes left to focus on this before I need to get back to other content and other projects for actual paid work and for actual paid clients. So if we scroll back up here, so you can see just this morning, I sat down with it and just said, the app really didn't work. It seemed to fail at the point where we tried to bring this interactive graph in, which is true. I just sat on the sofa this morning, I chatted away to it. We started to simplify the approach. And in essence, what we came up with in the end was that we're gonna approach this in eight, in six steps. Um, so first we put together a much simpler weight forecasting MVP. And the idea here is it's a minimum viable prototype. So even once we've been through those six steps, it's gonna be the very base entry 
prototype. I'm not sure I'll even have the authentication and stuff in there. I just wanna see if it works the way I want it to. In this discussion, we realized, as I've already kind of mentioned today, what I wanted was an app that almost treated my weight loss like a, like a, a GPS. I could choose my route, and some of those routes aren't gonna be the smartest, but I prefer the drive, because it takes me past the beer festival. <laughs> I know I talk like a guy who goes to um, too many beer festivals, but that's not true. I don't go to enough. Just send me recommendations, please. So we've got our key features listed out. I agree with all of these. So again, as always, 80% of the hard work done through working with generative AI, the final 10% for judgment, another 10% for strategy, bit of creativity. Included in that 20% is the point at which we say, no, AI, you've attempted 80% of the work, it's not worked, we need to bring a human on board. That is where I think my philosophy is heading in my approach to all this stuff. Let me show you what we built then. So step one's done. It's just writing, I'm sure it has written by now, step two. Actually, let's just chuck step two in while we're waiting. I'm just gonna be 100% sure it's followed the multi-step plan. So step two is basic AI forecasting, LLM generates project. Amazing work, it's time to move to the next version of this app and add the additional functionality. Do not use dummy AI ML, uh, chat GPT responses. Let's get it working immediately with the API key. The reason I've done that is I've often found I took, it doesn't tell you it's using dummy phrases. So you'll get deeper into a project and then be like, what? why is the chat GPT just, or whatever LLM I'm using, giving me these same weird nonsensical outputs and it's because what it is is pulling variables running them through some hard-coded logic and spitting out what looks like could be a response but there's no thought behind it and there's no access to the open ai or any of the apis i'm going to run that while that's running let's look at what we've built so far so this is prompt one part one basic weight logging system so all this needs to do this mvp before we touch forecast or graphs or anything else is building the first part of a simple weight tracking system i added some fictional weights that were that ended in my weight today, which is find out in a minute, 94.5 kg, and went back to January. So there's some fictional weights in here, all added all the way back. They are tagged with off track, risky, on track. And this is the concept that on that day I knew I was gonna have a bad day. I knew it was gonna be an off track day, beer festival or it's risky. So I'd say for me, a lot of Saturdays or Sundays are risky. Sundays are risky because before you know it, you've had a great big brunch and a Sunday roast and a couple of, a couple of beers. And so the thing I'm trying to get ahead around here in my brain is on risky days, if I'm aware of them and much more self-aware of my behaviors on them, and I can see how it affects my weight, I think this is just gonna inspire me and help me stay on track, especially if I can get some notifications around those risks coming up which are a mix of, oh my God, you've got this great <laughs> beer festival coming up in 14 days, which I think might be true. When's the Yapton? Guys, 11th of May. Okay, no, we've got time, we've got time. Um, you should be pumped for that. You should be doing some more working out. So I'm not gonna ever talk about calories within this in ter terms of like defining calories, but I like the idea and this works off the back of what my PTs taught me if you're coming up to an event, you know you're gonna be going a bit crazy, why don't you just knock 400 calories off for, for the two weeks beforehand? That's a big chunk of accrued calories. It's not the wisest decision to think you can then go and spend them, because you can't, but it does work to a certain degree. Uh, I don't always stick to it though, because I often find, so this time last year we're going to Ibiza in May. I thought March to May I would be so fit and beach body ready and everything, but actually knowing I had this Ibiza blowout coming up kind of adversely affected my, my behaviors psychology thing, I guess. But anyway, back to the board. The basic weight tracker is here. I wonder if there's any, so if I put in another date for today. Again, I've got no back end, so save doing any of this actually is silly because none of this is gonna be stored on this preview. Let's just ignore that. Let's see how part two has come along. So part two, as we've laid out, is for this to become some basic forecasting using ChatGPT in some way to think about that stuff. If we grab the part two, prompt, stick it in this file, so it'll be an H2, because I'd love you guys to see all this as well. I know there's a lot of kind of YouTubers out there, YouTubers, a lot of people out there sharing this stuff, share ugly ass Google Drive docs that you couldn't possibly follow along with. So adding AI driven basic forecasting, simple weight projections, 
to calculate projected weight based on the user's recent weight trend, any upcoming red orange days, you defined off plan days. So we've not okay, interesting. So it's asking us to do something at the moment we can't we haven't given it the prompt that we want to plan ahead for off plan days. So already you're starting to see here when you're not carefully manipulating this stuff, it's not even the LLM is forgetting to tie these bits together. Interesting. Uh a historical response. If users are really consistently losing one kilogram, should assume this trend continues unless disrupted by red orange days. I should read this before we go ahead, shouldn't I? Right, so I can feel that there's a logic problem here. Before I start dicking with it, I can already see which is this. I think we've got a logic problem in that we mentioned user defined off plan days, but they aren't handled in the app. So it might be simpler to ask this thing because Loverboy is very smart. I mentioned in that prompt about being able to prepare for any upcoming red orange days that are user defined as off the plan days in the future that haven't yet happened, haven't had weights logged for. Uh, in this scenario, I need you to cover that and add a section or, or consider how I can add future off plan days into this. Then let me know precisely how you've done that and gone about doing that, please, so I can um, keep track within my docs. This is probably an inefficient way of doing things. Let's find out. Maybe he's while well, he's doing that, I might just say over here, exactly the same thing. You mentioned this point in the prompt, but up to this point, we haven't mentioned to the app, and it hasn't it hasn't yet built a function to handle the creation of tagged future days as either good or bad. Uh, so do you imagine there'll be a logic mismatch here? By the way, I've asked the, the the coder to try and do it himself, and I'll come back to you with his uh, his fix, his solution, and we'll see how it is compared to what you would like to do, and then we can decide which one, and maybe I'll reverse steps back, and we'll revert back to the original prompt. I don't, you don't need to know this, ChatGPT. <laughs> uh, see how it compared. I'd like to add functions for planning off track future dates haven't yet occurred. Let me implement a feature that allows users to mark future dates. So yeah, I hadn't really even realized that, that this was a thing I'd wanted. So he's building that out. Yes, I see how this could create a logic mismatch because up to this point, the app hasn't been explicitly designed to handle future tagged red orange dates. Do <laughs> this first. Uh, I'm not even gonna ask, I'm just gonna go. Here's what the AI dev did. What do you think? We're gonna have to wrap this up in a sec. Let's just see how this demo's come out. It's really well structured and addresses exactly what we needed. Here's why I think it's a strong solution. So I'm, I've prompted this at some point, which I always do, to not be sycophantic, to have a bit of a negative Nelly approach and not just agree with everything I tell it. It is agreeing with a lot of what I'm saying at the moment, so this might be it. So it should normally end each prompt with a consideration. I think we'll handle this in a minute. Okay, so what did you actually do? Added a planned days structure. Created functions to add, delete, and retrieve planned days. These days are stored separately, so they did that. Create a planned days form component. Use can select a future date, choose a status. Optionally add a note explaining the event. Oh, let's put the beer festival. <laughs> Just gonna have to call this beer festival <laughs> planner. <laughs> Um, I think we're going to the Saturday the 10th of May. Aha, there you go. My own bad thought. So let's stick that in, end of May. Is that May now? I can't remember how to say that. Sorry. 10th. May the 10th. Yapton. Beer festival. Ah. Cool. One thing I must say, if you're building out these things to become products you want to sell is it's kind of ridiculous to look at them on desktop. I'm a massive advocate for the phone first thinking when it comes to businesses. 100% a tool like this. In fact, nearly every tool we're creating, nearly every business we're buying from, they are discovering you on their phones. So I would consider all of this needs revision at the phone level 
really first, maybe within the first prompt so we start to, be, to talk about this stuff. Now, responsive design is lovely, but it doesn't account for everything. There's commonly errors, and it doesn't account for the behavior of phone users. Phone users are impatient, they wanna be back on TikTok, and you got one fight, one thumb swim sweep, swipe to win them over. So just keep that in mind, let's see what we've done. Okay, cool, right, so wait forecast. It's going all the way back to the first date I ever put in, which is a bit of a problem. Rate's been steadily decreasing. Cool, okay, so it's pulling things over, which is really cute, I like that. We could style this all more interestingly. I think we could break this if we were to just chuck in a date from Jen, let's say, go way back to May 2024. 110 kilos and it was off track day there. Let's put it in. But I think the, my assumption is the forecast is looking at the entire date history. And I need to think about what I do there. I think I probably want to see like a 30 day rolling average would probably be far more, far more useful to me. There is room for a year on year forecast and stuff, but yeah, let's see what this comes through. My assumption is it's gonna be taking in all that date, wait data, yeah. Cool, so that's next step. Let's make this wait forecast a 30 day rolling average. I'm gonna consider how we do that and then check everything else is ticked off from, from part two. But already this is much miles closer to what I wanted uh, to have. And I'm excited to see what we could do with this. So there's a, a counter in here as well. So let's say, I think we're doing see, gonna see um, the Minecraft movie. I'm a, I'm a sucker for sweet and salty popcorn. And that's easily an extra 700 calories. So there was a counter, not yet. All oh, right. I'm loving this already. This is already much closer to what I wanted. I can't wait to carry on. Uh, I will share, I'll make this public. So if you wanna get in there and remix it and dick around with it, maybe race me to the finish line. I love that idea. Let's see what we can build. Thanks very much guys, speak soon.